I came to Bologna in 2017 to finish my master in women's and gender studies and then I continue my education with a PhD in literature and women's and gender studies because uh, before I came I was a lawyer for several years back in Colombia I have decided to put together my legal knowledge and my knowledge of literary criticism to analyze how women use literature to demand the recognition of their rights. My project analyzes the writings of two early and mid 19th century women, the English Marilyn Mann Grimston and the Cuban Spanish Gertrudis Gomez de Avellaneda. What I have found is that their criticisms to the institution of marriage is quite similar. They both see married women as almost slaves to their husbands because they are at the mercy of their husbands and under their authority. These criticisms are quite similar, even though the legal systems that regulated the institution of marriage were different in both countries, coverture in England and potestad marital in Spain. I have also found that they fought and defended women's right to a proper education. My thesis, based on other studies of its kind, shows how uh, Ideas like the husband being the head of the household, the wife being under his authority, or even the couple's unity were not only cultural and social constructs, but were actually protected under different legal systems. Understanding this, understanding this history, this legal history, but also this social history, and understanding how women in the past were already fighting these patriarchal constructs, help us today with our own fight for gender equality. I believe that my thesis uh, fits with goal five about gender equality and empowering women and girls because that's what my thesis talks about, how literature empowered women in the past. But also because the uh, UN goals are all interconnected, my thesis can also positively impact goal four about education for all and goal eight about finding work for everybody. I believe that in order to understand our present and to positively impact our future, we need to know our past. My thesis recovers the lost voices of women writers and analyzes them under a new light, showing how even before the terms feminism and feminist were coined, women were already talking about their rights, were already denouncing their oppressed position. And um, right now, when our bodily autonomy is already in danger, when our fundamental rights are put into question once again, remembering the fights of our foremothers and remember how they obtain the rights that we now have is important and a valid tool in our struggle. I think we can use this knowledge of the past in our own struggle for the recognition of women's rights as human rights.